In the night, also, my heart instructs me. That could be the physical night when we're sleeping. The Lord will speak to some of us in dreams. It can also be in the dark times, when things aren't going the way we want. Sometimes we struggle through finances, through a sickness or illness in the family. Are we still allowing the Lord to teach us and instruct us? I will keep the Lord always before me, at all times. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Therefore my heart is glad, and my soul rejoices. My body also rests secure. For you do not give me up the Sheol, or let your faithful one see the pit. Again, well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy. They're not being separated from him in that day, to Sheol, the place of the dead, or outside the light, or to the pit. It says, you show me the path of life, verse 11, Psalm 16. You show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. In your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Enter into the joy of your Lord. For walking on that path of life. Using the gifts that God has given us. Using our talents. The gifts of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit is evident in our lives. There are great pleasures awaiting. And it's not just for us. It's for other people. They found the, the body of a little boy yesterday who was missing. He has autism. Same age, same height and weight as my son. He was missing for six days uh, in North Carolina. I believe he's with the Lord in the Garden of God now. But he's going to be the inheritance of somebody. Those who have been faithful in this life are going to receive an inheritance of people in the next those little children who never got to reach adulthood. Those little children who were never born because of the, the abomination of abortion that goes on. Others who were molested are going to be inheritance of the overcoming saints. If we're faithful in using the gifts that God has given us in this life, in doing the righteous things that he has set before us, walking in obedience to his commands, loving that our own lives to the death, putting others before us, loving God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, we're going to receive an inheritance. We're going to hear those words, well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of your Lord and be ruler or have authority over ten cities of people. There's people in those cities that maybe in this life didn't know their right hand from their left as it was said of those in Nineveh. And God loves them. God loves all these. He loves all those in other countries who never heard the name of Jesus. He loves those who are, dare I say, who He loves those who are in the church who never met the real Jesus because we've erected our own ideas of who Jesus is and who God is. They're going to be the inheritance of the saints. Those who are co-heirs with Christ when he receives the kingdom, when he receives what does it say in Psalm 2? This is for us as well. This is spoken to the Lord in prophecy, but this is for his saints as well. I don't want to misquote it, so let's go to Psalm 2 real quick here. Praise your name, Lord. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for your inheritance, the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall break them with the rod of iron. You shall dash them to pieces like a, vodder, uh, like a potter's vessel. Now therefore, be wise, O kings. Be instructed, you judges of the earth. That bashing is not destroying them to death. It's what it is. It's that, that dashing to pieces is breaking the sin. It's breaking the bond of sin over them. This is the same promise in Revelation. 
to the overcomers who are going to sit with the Lord Christ on his throne and rule over the nations is to bring life to them. He's saying, be instructed, you judges. He's called us. He's called some of us to be judges. To judge rightly. I will restore your judges as at the beginning, it says in Isaiah chapter 1. There's going to be those. And that purpose of judging is to bring life. It's to minister life of God to creation. When they're set free from sin, when sin is removed from the earth, there's going to be people walking around. There's going to be people on the earth that God has brought in. And they're going to need someone to instruct them, someone to bring life to them. They're going to be an inheritance. The nations for your inheritance. The ends of the earth for your possession. Well done, good and faithful servant. Are those the words that we're going to hear in that day? Those are the words I want to hear in that day. I want to be faithful to use what God has given me in this life. I want each watching this tape, this video, to use what God has given you in this life. That you may receive the inheritance that God has for you. To bring love and hope and joy to people in eternity. And to share in the Master's joy in eternity. Oh, friends, there's a kingdom of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit that is coming to the earth. God is preparing a church. He's preparing his suitable helper now. And if we feel that call upon our lives, and I know I do, I know many others who do, let us be faithful in the things he's given us. Use our talents wisely that we may appear with him that day as he is, having received a glorified body upon these physical frames that he'll raise up in that day. Next, we're going to look at um, the parable of the sheep and goat nations, because I believe in that it shows those that will inherit in eternity. Praise your name, Lord. Thank you for your word. Bless each one, Lord. Amen.